And states across the country, mail-in balloting for the November election has begun, but some election officials are warning that problems with the U.S. mail system could disrupt voting and even disenfranchise voters. And some lawmakers are expressing concerns. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us with that story. Eric. Good evening, Tracy. Yes, the U.S. Postal Service could play a role in this presidential election, and it's not the kind that it wants. Millions of voters are expected to cast their ballots by mail in the coming weeks, but officials from several states recently sent a letter to the Postmaster General warning that major problems haven't been fixed. The letter reads in part, quote, we implore you to take immediate and tangible corrective action to address the ongoing performance issues with USPS election mail service. Failure to do so will risk limiting voter participation and trust in the election process. In recent primary voting, state officials noted cases of thousands of properly postmarked ballots that did not arrive in time to be counted. Wyoming Senator Cynthia Lummis tells me she's even tracked some of her own regular first-class mail, and it took two weeks to deliver. It went from Cheyenne to Denver, then to Salt Lake City. And in Salt Lake City, it sat in a bin until enough mail was accumulated to deliver it to Star Valley, Wyoming. In the 2020 presidential election during COVID, the Postal Service says about 43 percent of voters use mail-in balloting. Quote, we were successful in 2020 delivering an historic volume of mail-in ballots, also in 2022, and will do so again in November 2024. I think that the Postal Service actually performed pretty well in 2020 in terms of getting uh, the ballots in on time. Most states uh, require mail-in ballots to be sent within a sufficient period of time that they will arrive. I think we need to be making mail-in voting easier and more accessible to everyday people to increase voter participation. But Kansas Secretary of State Scott Schwab, who signed the letter, says the state had trouble with primary mail-in balloting and is advising voters against using it. He posted, quote, the Pony Express is more efficient at this point. Those kinds of hang-ups, if they're happening in Wyoming, they're happening elsewhere. And if they're happening with first-class mail, they will happen with mail-in ballots. And so uh, the concerns are legitimate. Now, postal officials do tell me that they expect less mail-in balloting this cycle, but they still urge people to send in their ballots as soon as possible to avoid any potential problems. But state officials warn even if those addresses are correct, it may not arrive on time. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.